portable power bank, wireless AP, SD card, and USB reader for your mobile devices. Check the link in the video description to learn more about the 880 Dash Drive Air AE400. Welcome to a product unboxing that won't be interesting to you if you're not into liquid cooling, but if you are, then it should be pretty interesting to you. This is the Coolant's 380i CPU cooler, and what makes it 380 is the fact that it is their current generation CPU water block, and what makes it i is that this is the Intel variant. So Coolant's usually does a great job of their included instructions, and this is no exception, even though this is just printed out with what appears to be an inkjet printer. It's full color and does seem to outline exactly what you need to do. This particular block mounts on LGA 775, 1155, 1156, 1150, 2011, and 1366. However, for some motherboards, you may need an adapter plate. It has, ah, yes, there we go, all of the below included in the box. So there is a back plate, another more different back plate, a silicone isolator. So this one right here will keep the back plate from shorting out any of the components on your board. If you have a board that that would be a risk for. It includes 2011 mounting pegs. So you can see those will screw right into the built-in back plate around the edge of your LGA 2011 board. It also includes tension hold downs for presumably all of the other Intel sockets. So those go right there. A ginormous tube of thermal goop. Coolant's branding on it, okay, as well as a bunch of other, okay, well, those are all the knickknacks that you need to mount the thing. Okay, so let's go ahead and move along to the Coolant's block. Coolant's, for me, was always about fit and finish. Now, back in the day, they weren't necessarily a performance leader by any stretch of the imagination, but that was a long time ago. These days, the 380 is a top of the range block in terms of the performance, and they're still maintaining that fit and finish. So it used to be they did weird stuff like gold plating, and it looked fantastic. Man, did it look good on the bottom of the block, but gold actually isn't as good a thermal conductor as some other metals. And while it didn't really hurt performance, it certainly didn't help it. And that seemed to be what they were going for was, oh, you know, gold plated for best thermal conductor. No, 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 no. So copper and silver are both actually better conductors than gold. These days, they still have that mirror shine finish. So we'll go ahead and do that obligatory finger shot where you can see how reflective that bad boy is. See, I can see you right there in the camera. It's got a bit of a bow to the base. This has been in fashion ever since the release of the D-Tech Fusion. I believe it was the Fusion V1 that initially had the bowed base with a, with a custom O-ring you could add to it. Uh, so it has a slightly bowed base. This allows for it to flatten out once it is actually applied to the block. And that smoothness at, at the bottom, actually that, uh, that shininess at the bottom doesn't necessarily affect performance, but it certainly looks nice. It's a copper based block, so it uses a micro fin arrangement with a uh, mid plate that I don't think you can actually quite see, but there's an intake block or there's an intake uh, feed right there. So there's a mid plate and then there are micro fins in the bottom and then it uses a very, very, very thick hold down plate. That's one of the thickest hold down plates I've ever seen. You're going to be able to apply as much or as little pressure as you want. However, it should be noted that you don't want to risk damaging your motherboard for the sake of getting really good mounting pressure between your block and the motherboard itself. Coolance has configured this block so that it'll be compatible with pretty much whatever G1 quarter standard fittings that you want to use, even if they are half inch ID, three quarters inch OD fittings, which is often hard to fit on something like a CPU block. So SwiftTech's approach is that they often allow you to user config the inlet to move it away from the other one. And this gives you a bit more flow restriction and maybe a little bit less performance, but allows you to fit bigger fittings. This one supports it out of the box, no problem. They're also clearly labeled inlet, outlet. And I think that pretty much wraps it up other than to show you what the block will look like on your board if you happen to have an Asus Z87 Deluxe. So there you go. Man, I love water cooling. Probably the best thing about it is just the sheer sex appeal of it. Thank you for checking out this unboxing and first look at the 380i CPU cooler from Coolance. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos.